language shapes the way we think and determines what we can think about. Hello dear friends, you are listening to English Learning Made Easy, an English podcast especially serving to those who learn English as their second language. This is your friend and host Sajid Ali Khan. Today I have come with yet another important and very interesting topic to discuss with you all. Title Let's Think in English. Dear friends, there are many people who think mother tongue plays a very important role in learning English language, while the reality is very different. In this episode, we shall discuss what is the actual role of our mother tongue in learning English language. So let's get started. Let's think in English. There are many people who think that English can be learned with the help of their mother tongue. They are partly right and partly wrong. They are partly right because the very basic learning stage of English needs help of our mother tongue, which enhances our confidence and avoids our boredom in learning of a foreign language. At the early stages, even a child needs support and encouragement as he needs walker and a baby cycle for walking practice. In the same fashion, in early stages of learning English, we definitely may need the help of our mother tongue, especially in those countries where we lack English speaking environment. Dear friends, environment plays a very vital role, especially speaking English environment plays a very very vital role in its learning, which I have already discussed in our previous episodes that how people going to Gulf countries learn Arabic speaking without going to any tuition classes just due to congenial environment of speaking there. Dear friends, there is one misconception and confusion with many people that with the help of mother tongue English can be learned very rapidly but believe me this is wrong as it is also a harmful thing for learning English language if we depend totally on our mother tongue because when we use mother tongue to help us in learning English it means we use the translative method we totally depend on the method of translation. This method takes more time as first we have to think the structure of the sentence in our mother tongue and then we have to translate it. And while doing so, if we do not know any particular word in English which is to be used for a particular thing or a particular situation, then we get stuck, we get hesitation or we may, we may stammer or we can't muster up courage to speak anything to save ourselves from humiliation in front of others. And this happens every time whenever we use translative method for learning English language. Such learners never reach to the high fluency level and high confidence because their vocabulary remains very poor as they think in their mother tongue and then translate it in English language, which is a very slow process. So my dear friends, today I will show you the best way of improving your language and its very natural way also. Read in English, listen English and try to understand each and every word of the given text. In the beginning, it will be very boring as you have to refer dictionary many times but friends remember you have to begin from this level only because this is the only level of your language you have to work very hard as there is no royal road to success you have to read more and more and each day at least 10 to 15 new words must be added in your vocabulary 
you can begin reading story books novels or even you can improve vocabulary by reading random topics like spices what words do we use for different spices in english language vegetables fruits food market there are so many so many topics that you can select as per your choice and interest and you can find new words that you know in your mother tongue but you don't know in english language so you may also read grammar books to understand sentence structure and can do practice of sentence construction in english language you can listen radio or podcast daily to understand english in different accent and different styles a serious learner never counts time he just immerses into his practice and is always behind learning something new each day you too can go beyond the horizon of madness to learn then only you will learn english very rapidly dear friends always remember two very important things in life if you are a serious learner number 1 always follow grammatically correct structure of any sentence you speak or write never do grammatical error either in your writing or in your speaking number 2 use a proper word at the proper place i mean here where there is a need of watch don't use see or look where there is a need of look don't use see or watch actually each word in english has been made for a particular situation and must be used in that situation only otherwise we can't reach to the perfection like a native speaker besides if it is a, if it is possible do conversation practice in english with any f- your friend any person whose english is at least better than you who can who can correct you if you commit any mistake so dear friends learning is a never ending process you can never claim to reach to perfection and stop learning as there is development in every field languages also develop continuously we see different linguists in this world we see like scientists the different people are also called linguists who are continuously doing lot of discoveries and inventions in languages also and we see the language of different eras were different and it depends on our interest if we have interest we can learn more deeply and this is very interesting dear friend so language is also developed continuously today the english what we speak is very different from the english spoken during shakespeare's era therefore we must keep learning and thus growing our language and then a time will come in your life when learning will become a fun and you will teach to others dear friends for more than 23 years i have been in this teaching field and speaking and talking and teaching how to improve english language still i learn many new words still i learn many new words and i enjoyed each day reading so reading is the best melody of so many problems in english language therefore we must keep learning and thus growing our language and time may come when you will be able to teach to others so dear friends never stop reading as someone has rightly said if you stop reading you stop leading because when you want to lead others when you want to lead the world or to the group of people you must have more information you must have more knowledge more caliber more potentiality and more information then only people will follow you then only you can lead others and if you want to lead the world then you have to improve more than others and reading is the best best a uh, method you can follow to improve your language because by reading only you come to know different structure of sentences by reading only you come to know different styles uh, how the sentence can be constructed you can know how a particular vocabulary can be used in different forms so dear friends 
never stop reading in your life it's very important so dear friends in a nutshell i would like to conclude by saying that come out of that illusion or confusion or dilemma whatever you may call it that mother tongue plays a vital role in improving your english language that is not the case i hope by now you must have understood it so please you may take the help of mother tongue in the early stages of your learning the very basic but when you are able to construct your own sentences then please for god's sake just try to think in english use dictionary english to english don't use dictionary of english into your mother tongue that will also keep you always behind in depending on your mother tongue so the better way is just read english understand in english speak english listen english through radio podcast watch english movies with the subtitles if, if you are not able to understand the accent of the foreign characters then the subtitles movies will help you a lot but always try to understand the structure of the sentence never depend on your mother tongue to translate everything otherwise you will never be a fluent speaker believe me i'm telling you this is very frank attitude of saying that if you really want to be a frank speaker you have to think in english i hope you have understood it so please do take care god bless you all follow the social distancing and stay home stay safe and please do subscribe to my podcast and share your valuable comments god bless you all thank you very much for listening me bye bye